Today is actually uh, coming up 22 weeks before the marathon and I've been training for a few weeks now and I'm already starting to notice things that I need to think about and also benefits to my running and improvement in my music selection to help me get motivated and stuff. But British Heart Foundation, who I'm actually running for, have organised a training day today. So we're here in London to get some expert advice about nutrition, uh, measure my feet to make sure I'm wearing the right shoes, and to talk to some experts. There's a couple of guys here from Full Potential, and they're going to talk to me about the things that, as a beginner, we need to be thinking about. So it should be a really good and interesting day. My name's Keith Anderson. I started running at the age of 30. I had a stressful job as a chef put on quite a bit of weight, was unhealthy and decided, right, I need to do something. So I took up running to lose some weight and, and uh, just to get fit. Became a full-time athlete at the age of 36, which is totally the wrong way around. Trained in the Pyrenees, uh, raced professionally in America, and eventually I did my first marathon at the age of 40 in Boston and ran 2.17.08. And then went on to the Commonwealth Games to run for England. Our training philosophy has come through lots of experience, lots of practice having worked with a lot of other people as well as you know, having gone through it myself. So we understand what we're asking people to do, what we're asking their bodies to do and how to do it. We're just around the corner, so it's a 10 and 15 minute jog here, which is quite a nice warm up for everyone. It's quite an old fashioned style of track actually, but it's a slightly forgiving surface which is good because it's not too hard on the joints. In terms of controlling a session like we've had today with runners of various abilities, it's good because you've got them all within a fairly limited area, so it's easy to keep an eye on what people are doing and how their effort level is during this session. We've just done three laps, we need to do four. But we're doing threshold training. So it's like three minutes at like a level of eight or nine, and then a two minute break to catch up on our breath. I think definitely the training so far has helped, but I've got a long way to go for that marathon. A big part of marathon training is the mental side. Some of the things that can help are maybe the main reasons why they're doing it in the first place, raising money for a very good cause, perhaps a loved one, something they're doing at work, and that's a great motivator. A gait analysis is what we use to work out what running shoes you should be wearing depending on how you run. So what we do is we look at a foot shape, how the foot reacts when it's walking and also when it's running. When a beginner comes in, the biggest thing I find is they've got shoes that are far too small for them. So the first thing we do is tell them not to worry about what size we're looking for, and instead to make sure they have about a thumb's width of space between the end of your toe and the end of the shoe. The most important thing for me is to go get your running shoes fitted properly from a store that's got lots of expertise but also lots of choice to find the shoes that are suitable for your feet and your running gait and style. My name's Laura Penhall, I'm a physiotherapist based at Pure Sports Medicine in Kensington. The best ways to overcome or avoid injuries is firstly looking at their training. If they're somebody that's very new into running, then the stronger they are in their body, the better their body's going to be able to withstand that repetitive loading, that repetitive force that's going through their body when they take each step. I would really strongly advise that actually they do a lot of strength and conditioning. If there's somebody that's very poorly conditioned to start off with, it would be good to get a physio's advice on their weak spots to kind of focus their training on. So that was the end of a very long day with the British Heart Foundation. This was one of a few different training days they organised for their runners. Um, a lot of really good information about nutrition, training advice. Got to meet the team from Full Potential, a uh, great team. They took us out on a training session as well today. And started to understand some of the different lingo that people use, like threshold running and tapering off your training. So it's all starting to make sense now. Um, really good nutritional advice. Just a long day of information and uh, now it's time for me to go home so I can relax and think about the journey that I have going ahead of me because it's a long way to that marathon still. If you would like to get involved in the 26.2 project, whether it be by offering advice, asking a question or joining us for a training session, then please email us at info at 26.2.co.uk.